Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today I want to share a quick tip with you using Studio One Prime, the free DAW by Personas, an effect which is quite easily achievable in artist version and the professional version, but a bit uh, more tricky to use it in the Prime free version. So what's the effect? It's basically having an echo followed by reverb for the echo rather than echo and reverb at the same time. So the reverb is the regeneration of the echo and not the main sound or the audio that's coming through. I will show you what I mean. Let's have a listen. If you recall from my last example, I had that uh, sound loops creating a song and I dragged in a funk soul guitar solo and it turned out really well. So let's uh, have a listen to that example. And as a final result, then I'll go through each one of the settings and show you how I actually achieved it in Studio One Prime. Okay, so the example we are looking at is the funk soul guitar solo. If you, if you remember, that was just a plain thing and in my last example I just whacked on a reverb and make it sound a little bit better. But this time round I thought I'll use that example uh, to show you how to do it um, in, in Prime to get a, a much better sound. I was just doing a, an editing of and mixing of another song in my project using the professional version and it's quite easy to do it in there when I thought I'll do this example here for you for all you guys who are using the Prime free version. So how do we achieve? Let's have a listen to what the result is bit just um, the guitar itself. Let's have a listen to the guitar and what we're trying to uh, achieve. <coughs> So we have our echo and we do have a reverb. We have a stereo effect as well. Let, let's have a listen to it without any of the effects. On my guitar track all I have is a channel strip and it's just sort of cutting uh, some of the low end boosting in the top bit a little bit and then having some compression with a fast um, dynamic speed so it's nice and bright and that's all it's doing the the channel strip this is the original This is the original sound that um, came from the loop, which is included part of the Personas um, Studio One Prime. And what I have done, I have added uh, two effects channels, one being bit delay and the other one uh, a reverb. Now, usually one would put the delay and the reverb here as well, but that will give you delay as well as reverb at the same time for, for the main instrument. But what I wanted to achieve is reverb for the delay. Now in artist and professional version you will have bus. So you direct your um, audio channel using send to a bus. Now in bus it also has a send but not the effects. So usually you would send it 
to the bus and then the bus will generate the delay and then it's another send to another FX channel which includes the reverb. I hope I'm explaining it correctly <laughs> and easily enough. But because in Prime we don't have auxiliary buses, we are using two effects channels or effects buses. Because effects buses don't have any sends, we cannot send one effect to another effect to in series they are all in parallel. But what I have done is I have come here and instead of going to the main bus, I've redirected the output of my FX delay into my FX reverb. So the audio will come from the channel, get processed by the channel strip, then effects send to effects delay, which is this effect, which basically adds a bit delay. And then with the bit after the bit delay, that effects channel is sent to the effects reverb and then comes here. And then the effects reverb, I'm just adding a reverb there. And finally, I've got another channel strip, which is basically getting rid of all the lower frequencies and upper frequencies. So gives the main audio a more chance to stand at the front while the reverb is sort of faded at the back and it's just creating that dimension for it. So let's have a listen to see what is happening and let's just put just the delay on. As you can hear, we're not hearing any delay. The reason for that is because the effect, uh, the uh, the delay effects, is being sent to the effects reverb, which is muted. Hope that makes sense. So you can now see and visualize the root of the audio coming through. Now let's try the effects turned on one at a time. So. Just disable everything. This is the row recorded guitar. Okay, and then I added the channel strip. And then it gets sent to the effects reverb, uh, effects delay, I should say. Okay, so now the volume is coming up. So let's add the delay. So already we have some extra dimension. The reason we're getting that extra dimension, because it's a stereo, I've just got a cross delay by four milliseconds to the right. That gives sort of a bit of panning and white stereo and just a touch of reverb, so we only get maybe one, no more than two feedback, repeat, for the delay. That sounds good already. Now what we're doing next is we're sending that delayed audio into here, and we next add a, a reverb. Okay, so what we're hearing, the reverb of the delay rather than the main original sound. 
and then I'm using the channel strip to cut off some of the uh, upper and lower frequencies so that um, so the delay and so the delay and the reverb is sort of a bandwidth limited um, with high pass and low pass you know much it gives more clarity to the original audio okay I hope that makes sense so um, let's have a quick listen again with and without uh, any of the effects No effects. So that was without any effects. Let's turn the effects back on. Let's have a listen with the rest of the instrument and see how they um, how they sound. Well, I hope this was helpful. Obviously, this uh, technique of echo and reverb for the echo, you can apply it to any other instruments. S vocals work really well as well, but, uh, you know, guitars and those sort of uh, instruments really sound really, really fantastic with it. So uh, play around with it. some of the settings, adjust some of the delays um, and the pre-delays. Uh, and as well as the reverb with the um, pre-send as well so this uh, the pre you can adjust that the size um, and so on so so you get a different result from it I hope this was helpful for you and gives you a new idea of uh, more creativity with all of its limitations that uh, Presonus Studio One Prime has we still have uh, great music sounding and uh, production and if you like my videos if you like this was helpful give me the thumbs up that way I know it was uh, very useful for you and um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel feel free to subscribe that way you are kept up to date with any new video I, pl I upload to um, my YouTube channel you can also visit my website, recordingstudio9.com, become a free member and you can download all of these loops for your next production as well. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio! Cheerio!